we do have a sick care system, not a health care system. And it's broken. And we allow these big pharmaceutical companies to start right away. You know, if you're a kid on TikTok, you're getting ads already for what medication you need because you have anxiety. You know, they're already pushing this stuff from the earliest stage they can on everybody. And we've allowed it for so long. And that is when they really started to get angry at me is when I wouldn't let go about reforming some of these policies around big pharmaceutical companies. I and, think it was before you know, that. It might have been. It might have been. But I, 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 I think there's an old paradigm, a good old boy system that is very much kiss the ring. You know, you play along to get along. You just do things a certain way. But that old paradigm doesn't work. There, there's a new right of activists, and, and we won't we won't survive not just as a party, but as you know, our, our, you know, our our values, everything. If we don't raise up activists, and Robbie's an activist, and so. That doesn't fit into that old paradigm. Because um, that system, they want politicians. They want yeah, they, you to talk to them in the back room about the real stuff. But then in front of people or if you go on a show, they want you to have these perfectly coiffed. And I can do them. I could give you guys political answers all night that like I'm saying nothing, meaning nothing. But it's an answer technically. And that's what they want from their politicians. They want them to say nothing, mean nothing. Yep. I want people where I know exactly where they stand. I want to know if I hate them. I want to know if I love them. That's and what, I think that's what people deserve. That's what our founders did. You go back and read our founders, and I encourage every young person who's listening, go back and read their writings if you've never had. These people were brilliant writers. And you have to keep in mind when you read these, most of these people did not go to school. They taught themselves how to write. They taught themselves the art of language. And you read their writing. It is the most brilliant. It stands every test of time. I mean, they could literally write about you going to the bathroom in a lake and it would sound exquisite, okay? <laughs> I don't know how they, they did this, but they pulled it off. Read this and you see that these were forceful men. These were men who had convictions. They stood for something. They were willing to die for it. Where are those people today? Where are our rebels? Where are the people who are a rebel with a cause, not just somebody who's like, you know, hooked on drugs and do stupid things, somebody with a cause who says, I am willing to go all the way. I'm willing to die for what I believe in because it is so important. We had those men once and it's the reason we're all sitting here, but not having those men is the reason why our children will not have the same opportunity unless we, we actually fix it, raise up a generation of activists. Jeffrey Witte in the uh, chat mentioned they were all 24 years old. Yeah. Not all of them. I think Benjamin Franklin was a, li a bit some older. Some of them were a little yeah. older. Yeah. But, but some were as young as 18. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Imagine being, you're like 18 and you own property and you're like running a farm with a wife and some, and like you have a kid already. You signed the Constitution. <laughs> you signed the Declaration Constitution. Of or, yeah, yeah. You, you know, know, like told the king, screw off, try me. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, those people had balls. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, this generation's like, well, yeah. look, look, here's here's the thing. Back in the day, the founding fathers, they didn't work, they didn't eat. Yep. And so when the crown is pushing on them and taking from them, they're like, listen, I work every day to feed my family and then you come and you take no more. Mm -hmm. It's the inverse now. These millennials are like, look, every day I wake up and you provide. So yes. I will do whatever you say. Right. Yep. Remind me again, too, when we talk about like the Boston Tea Party, the tax raise at the time, it was equivalent to like, was it 2%? Not even, not even 2%, I think. Somebody could low. look it up. I want to give people the real number. I don't know if you guys can look it up, but it was tiny. Now politicians throw around things all the time, like Biden the other day is like, I want to add an extra 38%. I want to add this. I want to add... They want to tax everything. These guys were willing to die for... What was it? Uh, it, was, it was a protest of the Tea Act. And uh, the tea Act to undercut added. the price of illegal tea smuggled into the British colonies. Basically... It was going to make it so that they had to pay more for tea that came from the East India Trading Company. But it was like the, the equivalent of today, like less than 2% hike in the cost. Was it just like the final straw of a bunch of things that the, have been building and building? The act granted the, the company the right to directly ship its tea to North America and the right to the duty-free export of tea from Britain. Although the tax imposed by the Townshend Acts and collected in the colonies remained in force, it received royal assent. So I don't think it was specifically about uh, taxes. I think it was about, I mean, it was about taxes, but it was about, uh, what is it? The smuggled tax passing tea. on the cost. 86% of all tea in America was smuggled Dutch tea. Right. So all of a sudden the cost of tea was going to skyrocket because they were like, no, you now have to buy from this company because they're beleaguered and they need your sales yep. or they need your purchases. Well, and and the skyrocket again is like around it, what would be equivalent to today, like a 2% hike, you know, in your overall cost. Today... You know, they could propose a 50% extra tax on us and people just go along with their day and they're happy to scroll the phone and like no big deal. Back then they were like, no, 2%, we're going to go die for this. <laughs> we okay. will go, we'll the, burn the ships. 